advice is that uh, there shall be no nicks or gouges on the base metal. So don't take your grinder for a walk. Make sure you stay on the groove. You grind what you're taking off. And then when you uh, uh, weld over it, that uh, the grinder marks pretty much disappear. Uh, so we don't see any nicks or gouges. And uh, then arc strikes is the other thing. When you're in production welds, when you're welding on the, in the, on the job, whether fabricating or, or um, in the field, uh, a, an arc strike outside the weld area is, uh, is cause for rejection of that weld and, and it requires the welder to go back and repair that arc strike. Okay, so if you have an arc strike in your test plate, then it would be like cause for rejection and calling the welder to come back and repair it. But in a test, a rejection means you failed. Okay, the tests don't give you a second chance like in the field. Okay, so remember that. Um, any questions? All right, very good. So the other thing I want to go over is, uh, so we got the cover pass acceptable. Uh, we're going to remove all the restrictions uh, and double check the cover pass one more time uh, for, the, for the height. And uh, then we're going to remove uh, the backing bar because the code book calls for uh, inspection of the well root. The well root, if you were doing pipe to pipe, like say you're going to do a 6G test on 6 inch schedule 80, for example, that's a common test, mm -hmm. right? And now the inspector has to inspect the well root. So where does he inspect the well root? Inside, inside or outside? Inside. inside. He looks at no the, kidding. Get right? a flashlight. Look at it. Right. Some yeah. people think the well root means the well bead, the root bead on the outside. Well, no, it does not. So I can I can come and randomly look and see how your beads are doing, uh, how your welding is going during the test. And I could stop the test at any time if I see you're just not going to make it and you're wasting time and money. But in, in, I, I, I'm not going to reject anybody uh, uh, for inspecting the root bead unless it's obviously going to be a failure. Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't know what's going to happen on the, on the root side, on the back right. side of that joint. The only way you're going to know that is by removing the backing, uh, gouging it out, grinding it smooth, and then inspecting the well root. Okay, just like on pipe, you look at the well root inside, not outside. Okay, so the well root, uh, the, according to D11 uh, in clause 4.9, it calls for uh, complete fusion, no cracks, and uh, uh, no inadequate joint penetration. So the joint penetration with a backing with a large gap of what, a root right. opening of, of 3 eighths, that's not gonna happen, right? right. You're gonna get penetration. What you could get is uh, incomplete fusion. Okay, so incomplete fusion would mean that you didn't quite burn the edges on, you're gonna have one, one side is uh, square, the other side is gonna be a 30 degree bevel, and it's gonna be uh, uh, beveled to a sharp edge. And so if you didn't burn that, uh, uh, both of those edges, especially the one, the side that's square, is gonna be the hardest to get. Uh, and you wanna make sure you, you fuse it 100%. When we remove the backing, uh, if we see incomplete fusion lines, then that's cause for rejection, okay? So you wanna make sure you get that root burned in real, real good. And, and so it could be that in, in the process of burning in the root really good, you get a little bit of undercut on the uh, bead, uh, on the root bead edges, and from the outside you might think it's no good, but if you clean it up really good, remove all the slag, and then uh, or you're able to uh, burn that in adequately, there would be no cause for rejection if on the backside. Uh, you've got the fusion that we, we, we required, right? Okay, so once we do the, uh, the root inspection uh, and it passes, then we're gonna cut the four specimen. They're gonna be four bent, uh, side bent specimen. And again, they're gonna be cut off from the edges of the test coupon. Remember, it's a 12 inch uh, test coupon, so there's a lot of welding to do, okay? Um, and uh, uh, we're gonna re remove uh, a quarter inch off each edge, then we're gonna take off a, uh, a, a three-eighths three uh, wide side bend specimen, and then um, uh, we're gonna take two from the center. We're gonna cut the specimen a little bit thicker because we're gonna um, thermal cut it with an oxygen torch, and so you guys are gonna be grinding a little bit uh, to take off that uh, surface uh, uh, from the cut, okay? Maybe about a sixteenth, a down sixteenth on each side. That's what, that's what the code book calls for. So you're gonna get a, a cut that's almost a half, an, about a half an inch thick, and you're gonna have to take it down to three eighths, and then we're gonna bend it right here in a hydraulic bend, all right?